Russian President Vladimir Putin is allegedly behind the creation of a highly secretive and sadistic Gulag, IK-17, deep inside freezing Siberia. News.com is reporting that located in Krasnoyarsk, the province's second-largest municipality, this facility is said to systematically abuse the human rights of critics of the Russian government by employing inhumane torture methods. IK-17, positioned approximately 2,500 miles from Moscow, capitalizes on Siberia's bone-chilling winters which can plummet below 50 deg C, adding to the torment faced by its inmates. Disturbing videos have surfaced depicting prison officers violently attacking and dragging inmates through the corridors for brutal beatings, per the UK Star. Inmates are subjected to torture chambers and press rooms designed to extract false confessions and those who have survived the facility alleged that the prison governor, Colonel Yuri Cheremik, also participates in torture sessions while some prisoners are incited by staff members to assault their fellow convicts. To make matters worse, IK-17 operates adjacent to a hazardous aluminum smelter site, where inmates are forced to live and work, exacerbating their already dire conditions. Additionally, Inmates endure daily awakenings at 5.30 a.m. for two hours of outdoor exercise, regardless of weather conditions. Basic amenities like showers are scarce, and visits to the bathhouse are limited to once a week. Ironically, given health-threatening circumstances at the facility, there is said to be a serious dearth of medical expertise with the labor camp relying on nurses for inmate care. Also, all dental issues are addressed by tooth extraction. According to the Star, the frequent use of solitary confinement has left prisoners isolated and mentally scarred. Initially intended for terrorists, IK-17 now targets any dissenting voices against President Putin's regime. One notable victim of the Krasnoyarsk facility's atrocities is former American Marine Paul Whelan who was convicted as a spy in 2018. He described the prison as a very, very grim existence. He recounts his forced associations with known criminals like murderers and constant harassment by prison guards. Whelan, who was sentenced to 16 years in prison in 2020, claimed, per BBC, that while there he was awoken every two hours, stripped of his blankets, and photographed to ensure that he had not tried to escape. Whelan is not the only American to face the rough edge of the Russian penal system. As reported earlier by News.com, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich is behind bars in Russia after being accused of spying on Putin's military-industrial complex and relaying the information to the U.S. The U.S., Gershkovich, and his employer have since denied the allegations and Russia has not yet produced evidence of its claims. Gershkovich is currently being held without trial with his expected pre-trial term expected to run well into November 2023. Russia has indicated that they are open to a prisoner swap with the U.S. but only after Gershkovich has stood trial.